I mean, I mean, and and I told the chancellor that as a look, you know, you what you're go, going into an election. This is actually what profoundly is annoying people in a different proportion to anything else in my mailbag, which is why I led on it mm. in the show and why I've been campaigning on it since. So the impracticals, this is what will now happen. First of all, there will be a consultation coming out in 2026 on shifting the assessment to family income from individual income. That is not a quick fix. There are some civil liberty issues about what what counts as a family. I should also note for those who get tax-free childcare, which has a cutoff of a single earner of £100,000, that family income assessment will be looking at changing that system too. The tax-free childcare is where effectively you get 20% of your childcare paid for if you're a working family up to a certain income level. In the meantime, um, what they're doing is currently the cutoff is a single earner of £50,000. Well, from the 6th of April, you'll start to lose child benefit at £60,000. Currently, you lose it altogether at sixty grand. From the 6th of April, you will lose it altogether from £80,000. So people earning under eighty grand will still get some form of child benefit. And so what's effectively done, and this was my suggestion, well, you can't fix it immediately, but you can at least take hundreds of thousands of people out of the regime in the the interim, which is a gross unfairness. 